this presentation on this historic vessel. If the Midway could talk, can't you imagine what the stories it would tell? I am confident the stories would be of average men and women performing uncommon acts of courage. Her stories would be of friendships formed, of hope secured by efforts of those aboard, stories of fear, of joy, and of peace knowing humanity has a better chance because of the sacrifice of those who took their post on this deck. Stories of men and women just like the men and women we honor here today, whose character, sacrifice, and dedication have helped keep America free. One of the objectives of Sex for Vets is to help our wounded servicemen and women remain as active and independent as possible, and with the segue, this can become a reality. And like this ship, we hope when their service days are over, our recipients too will become and remain a vital contributor to the fabric of our society. They do this by remaining in engaged with their families, churches, community, and their country. I stood next to a retired Marine a few years ago in our training facility in San Antonio as his son, Captain Stephen Fleming, took off across the floor for the first time on a Segway. This is a new day for our family, he said with a huge smile on his face, and I had tears streaming down mine. I am confident this will be true today for our recipients as well. Many have battlefields ago, these men and women would not have been returned to us. But this golden hour and the service that uh, the medical community can provide, if they get there in time, returns them to us, sometimes without limbs, always injured in some way. But they're Americans, they fought for us, they bled for us, and they deserve the restoration of their mobility. United States Army, Canton, Michigan. Corporal Michael Fox, United States Marine Corps, Rancho Bernardo, California. <laughs> Staff Sergeant Jason Gibson, United States Army, Westerville, Ohio. Sergeant Hubert Gonzalez, United States Marine Corps, San Diego, California. Corporal Joshua Hoffman, United States Marine Corps, Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, we have before you a group of heroes and a group of men who deserve our great respect and thanks. Give him one more round of applause, please. Most of you know it as Segs for Vets. To my left, Jerry Kerr, founder and president. Those who know what the true cost of freedom is, and that may be a little trite to hear it all the time, the cost of what is the cost of freedom, but, but the truth is, is these young men and women and their families, they know what the cost is. We. Uh, don't have any idea, most of us, the conditions they've endured over in Afghanistan and Iraq, and the families, what they've endured every time they go to bed at night wondering where their loved ones are, what's happened to them, are they safe? So that psychological warfare that plays out in their lives has a lasting impact. We, uh, we know that they've got a lot of new challenges ahead of them, challenges that uh, impact their personal concept of liberty and freedom their ability to move around in society. But our focus isn't about what's happened to them. Our focus is on what's going to happen to them, how they're going to participate in their families. They know that they've been injured, but, but we don't feel sorry for them. We're sorry about what happened. But we know, given the right tools, given the right pathways, they can live a life of dignity, and regain their independence and continue to serve. We would not be able to gather in peace and security on this flight deck today.
If it weren't for the combat warriors behind me and, and their buddies that they represent who are still serving out there on the tip of the spear, keeping those who want to take down this great country at length. You know, Tom Brokaw wrote the book and he talked about the greatest generation, those who served in World War II and manned the ship. Well, my friends, you are looking at the newest, greatest generation.